All right, MBIA uh, out with numbers. The number to, to look at it here is going to be a non-GAAP uh, measure that excludes the effects of some timing-related gains and losses. Uh, and the company points out the after-tax operating loss for the first half of the year of 08 was $339 million, and that reverses year-ago uh, after-tax operating income of $408 million. Uh, it's very strange numbers here. The, uh, the company is reporting uh, net income of $1.7 billion or $7.14 a share driven by $3.3 billion worth of pre-tax unrealized gains on insured credit derivatives mm -hmm. due to wider spreads on the credit default swaps on the company itself, on MBIA. Um, net income was a dollar sixty one a share. It's you know it, we'll we'll uh, we will we'll, we we will revisit this. Uh, not that it matters uh, that much at this point. The, the company is also talking about their liquidity position. They say it remains strong, bolstered in part by the liquidity enhancing and they, rebalancing they didn't of the ALM portfolio. Didn't materially change the, prote the, projection, the projection of ultimate the, losses. Right. They the talk about how they have approximately 1.4 billion dollars in cash, short-term securities, and other investments mm -hmm. as of June 30th. They also say available to the holding company if they need it. They've got regular dividends from MBIA Insurance Corporation, which has about 426 million dollars of regular dividend capacity. <laughs> And they have an undrawn $500 million revolving credit line with a group of highly rated banks. But as you mentioned, Joe, they say they're, they're not changing. Um, I don't want to understand why they're giving us for the first half of the year either. I don't either. The, the holding it, company is reported it, is that, is that, re, is that, that 3.37 a share for the first half of 08 is the loss. Three dollars and 37 cents a share. Uh, compared with net income in the year ago, first half of three, I mean, I'm doing Kevin Ferry. I'm Kevin channeling Ferry Kevin Ferry all day. Uh, three three dollars and seven uh, cent profit. Uh, for the second, yeah, I'm, I'm leaving it. Because they lost actually three dollars and one cents was the actual. Are they restating the first quarter in some way? But I don't understand. We'll have to look through this a little more and dig through some of the numbers. But uh, again, I'm finished with it.